Today, I want to share with you a few traditional as well as a few non-traditional ideas when it comes to treating sickle cell anemia. And before I begin, down below in the description, there's a link. If you click on it, uh, I'm giving away this free video guide about giving you tips on shopping for supplements and alternative medicines. Now, there's one thing you need right now to survive. And if you don't get it within the next maybe two or three minutes, you will die. What am I talking about? Think of drowning. Yeah, you need air. And red blood cells in your body, they take oxygen, they deliver to places that need it, and they get rid of carbon dioxide. Uh, they're shaped like a little disc to help them move around. Now, when somebody has sickle cell anemia, the red blood cells are shaped like sickles. Sickles are a little, uh, like a farming tool used down to cut down things, like tall grass. It's shaped like a C or a crescent moon. As you can kind of tell, these little Cs, it's easier for them to get stuck. Um, and that hurts blood flow and it's not good for your health and that kind of stuff. So let's talk about treatment, okay? Now when it comes to traditional treatment ideas, the goal really is to first figure out what's causing the problem and eliminate it, and, and second, uh, possibly to improve red blood cell count in somebody. Uh, for example, there could be an infection uh, that's causing it, so taking antibiotics could help. Um, also, somebody could be deficient in some important mineral or nutrient, nutrient maybe it's iron. Uh, giving somebody that, uh, that nutrient can, can help them. And for really serious cases, of course, there is a bone marrow transplant. And the problem, of course, there's a lot of problems, but one of them is finding a person to give you a, a bone marrow. Uh, and normally, the, the bone marrow would be given chemotherapy to kill off the sickle cells, but the good news is doctors have found a way to do this without chemotherapy. That, that's great. Um, that definitely could cure somebody of sickle cell anemia. Um, but somebody still needs immune suppressant drugs. And, well, this increases the chance of cancer. Another problem is because it weakens the immune system. And there's a link between the immune system and cancer. So that's a problem. Uh, plus, your body can reject the whole bone marrow, and that could be life-threatening. So there's some of the... Uh, common traditional ideas that treat it. So let's talk about a few non-traditional ideas in alternative medicine that, that could possibly help out. Um, and one is something called Nicholson, or another name is Nipersin, which is really just a blend of a whole bunch of herbs out there. And there's studies that show it works. Uh, with 30 people in the study, they were given Nipersin. 73% uh, uh, had no sickle cell crisis during the whole one year testing period. And the rest of the group uh, had less severe sickle cell crises. So evidence showing that works. Um, another idea is something called uh, thiocyanate, which you can get in the supplements. And in a study at Rockefeller University shows that a half a gram of this substance um, can relieve a sickle cell crisis. So there's some more proof that, that helps as well. And also when it comes to this disease, Another symptom, a big symptom, is pain. So oftentimes, pen, pain medication is uh, given to somebody and recommended to help them relieve the pain. But one idea which some people forget about uh, which is omega-3 uh, is great for relieving pain. So taking that supplement can definitely help as well. So there's just a few ideas when it comes to treatment. Uh, now, when it comes to shopping for dietary supplements and shopping for some stuff that can help you out, it, it, it can be difficult uh, because a couple of reasons. One is the whole industry is unregulated. So what that means in a nutshell is companies are supposed to police themselves. It's not like uh, government agencies have the resources to kind of test all these different products out. Plus there's all this marketing hype. Um, so how do you get through that marketing hype and, and get to what's, what's real there? And the truth is there are studies out there that show there's some crap um, that you know a lot of supplements have mislabeling or some, some harmful stuff in them. So how do you pick and choose what supplement to go with? And uh, well, what I did is, um, you know, I created this whole video guide that gives you tips on what to look for. I even kind of compare uh, supplements back to back, which can definitely help out. And the truth is, you know, a lot of this information is you can find out there on the internet. The problem is we're all time starved and it just takes so much effort to define this information. So what I did was I try to compile it all in one really area so it's very easy to find bam 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 get you the information like that um, and um, I really think that it can help some people out and I've gotten some good 
positive feedback. Had a, had a blast making it. I really enjoyed making it. It was a lot of fun. Um, and to learn more about this whole free guide, just click on the link below this video that I made for you. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I hope this video was, was helpful. If, if, if you learned something or you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button. And have a very awesome rest of your day.